Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. So today's okra soup is going to be with a twist again flavor packed absolutely now i don't know if a lot of you are aware but okra soup is one of my traditional or maybe the main traditional dish of my tribe which is the ewa tribe from ghana we have the fatri tutu which is the okra made with no oil and then we have the ones that we make with oil which is fatri dechi absolutely so today i'm going to be making my fatri dechi yes with um one of um Ghana and Nigeria's favorite delicacy which is known as wele in Ghana and ponmo in Nigeria. My apologies if I've not pronounced it correctly, um, ponmo that is. <laughs> you can correct me by leaving your comments below. Now there are no nutritional contents for this because it is a cowhide, that's what it is, but it's a delicacy considering it's cost effective um, so everybody can have it, can enjoy it. The only problem is the conditions of which they are produced are not that conducive. But then again, this is actually boiled for so long that it kills majority of the bacteria or whatever else that might be in that might be on toward. But best thing to do is just eat it little and not as often as you would. Exactly, because too much of everything, even of healthy food, is also still bad for you. So anyway, enough of my chit chat, let's start cooking. On this occasion, the cowhide has been cleaned, which I'm ever so grateful for, because the task of having to scrape it and removing the flesh from inside can be daunting. If in the unlikely event, you end up with it in its raw form, then I'm afraid you have to go through that process. Now to infuse some flavors, I'm adding one habanero chili and one large clove of garlic. Apart from them infusing their flavors into the cowhide, it would also emanate this beautiful aromatic smell in my kitchen. You see you. Now I'm going to bring this to the bowl for an hour and a half. That's how long it took for this one to cook. But ideally, I think in most cases, they can take up to about three hours. And I used two liters of water in cooking this. You don't want to overcook it. You want it al dente, which means that it should still be soft, but has a bite, which is important. So I've cooked this and now it's ready, settled for me to start my shenanigans. Now I'm adding my smoked fish pieces and I'm just like, I was so excited when I found them in my freezer because I did not think I had any left. So you can tell that they're just the remnants, but you know what, equally they will work really well. So definitely it is important. Um, these are the perils of living in the diaspora, may I say. Now whilst preparing this dish, I uploaded snippets of it to my Instagram stories, which is under in Dudu by Fafa, so do check it out and say hi. And the question that I got asked the most was where I got the cowhide from. Now in my case, it was gifted to me because I definitely cannot find it where I live. So the best thing, I was like, okay, why don't I just wait out there? So if you're in the diaspora and you know where one can get the cowhide from, so whether you're in the States, Canada, Europe, UK, wherever, um, please leave comments below as to wherever the specific African grocer is. And yes, one can actually visit and get their own. So yeah, please do. We are a community after all. So anyway, I had some leftover raw pepper because I went all out. I did my raw pepper with my fried fish, prawns, avocado, and cheese and everything. And that was um, the leftover of my raw pepper. So I've just added that to this mixture. So it's made of ginger, garlic, tomatoes, onion, and chili. And that's it. So as I always say, there is no waste in my kitchen. Definitely not. So the best thing as well is the tomato also has this beautiful acidity as well. And that helps cook the cowhide further. It softens meat and softens things. So yeah, that works really well. Now I'm using palm oil here. I would prefer to use Zumi. The reason why I'm using the palm oil is because that's what I have access to again, perils of living in the diaspora. Um, and 
usually with a palm oil it has a taste that I don't particularly like so what I tend to do is um, add it to my dish now so that it can boil and I can add some more spices to it so that the spices can infuse into the oil and the oil would also absorb those flavors. So to that I'm adding my holy grill which is my ginger garlic, onion and aniseed which I've blended and I'm adding about three tablespoons full. I'm going to mix everything together till it's well combined. I'm going to allow this mixture to, you know, gently pour or simmer may I say for about 10 to 12 minutes. This is yet again to allow all the flavors to infuse and particularly for the palm oil to absorb the flavors of the spices that I've just introduced to the soup. So at this point, my soup is almost done, but I'm gonna talk you through my fish. So I've got my smoked, yes, salmon here, and I've got my fried prawns, my fried tilapia, which I used those two for my kenke yesterday. And then I've got my smoked mackerel, as you can see here. I smoked the mackerel and the salmon just the same way as I did my chicken. So now I'm going to be adding the smoked mackerel as well as the salmon first because they're slightly on the dry side but I like it that way because it means they're going to hold their shape and they have that beautiful smoky flavor as well that is just going to add to this dish beautifully. You see, as I always say, this is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. When you do any beer, a yam to do by Fafa, Gian flavors, you did them. In a genie near quickly, in Dudu by Fafa, near ne, a walk for my baby. So I think a lot of people say in translations. Usually, what I do say in English is what I translate in like the local dialect, but I, you know, just put a little bit of fun of it. So, yeah, anyway, I'm adding my habanero chili yet again for that trick for that aromatic flavor to infuse into the soup, but also to permeate through my kitchen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some osmosis pigra will be taking place. <laughs> anyway, I think at this point, this is good enough. Now, I remember that I bought some fresh okra that I did chop and I placed that in the freezer because that's one of the easiest way to do so. Um, if not, in one of my previous videos, um, I did show you that I got some frozen baby okra. I think I got it from Sainsbury's at the time and they still stock it. You can get that as well. So I've chopped it and as you can see, I'm just adding it to it frozen, just like that. So it has, of course, it's got, because it's frozen, it's going to melt, so it would have a bit of water. So I'm not adding any water right now. It's just because I want this to thaw and that would dictate the amount of water that I then add to this mixture. This is the perfect time for me to include my tilapia pieces and they're going to add their own flavors and infusions into the soup and I'm going to help it by adding a little bit of water, yes, as you do. I don't want this to be too watery, I just need like a thicker soup, yes. And I'm adding some bicarbonate soda, now this is optional. This activates the mycologenous nature of the okra which means it activates that sliminess. It's an optional thing to do. You can choose to omit that altogether. But for you to enjoy this the way it is, you need to add it. Promise you. I'm adding a little bit more water because I just want that double cream consistency just so. I need it to be a thicker soup, not too watery, just so. You know what I mean? So that when you actually scoop one of the cowhide, you'd have the okra just stick into it as well with the onion and you can just bite into it. That is like a flavor zone in your mouth. So you've got the crunchy onion and oh, why am I even talking about onion when I've not even got to that stage yet? Oh, anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> yeah, my petri petri. Okay, so I'm now adding some onions for that crunch. <laughs> Where did I be saying that? Anyway, so yeah, so that is just nice. And with this, I'm not even gonna let it cook for long, you know, because I'm now going to be adding my spinach. This soup at this stage has only got about 45 seconds to cook. That's it. 
So I've got some beautiful spinach, baby spinach that is, and I've washed it in salted water and I've slightly chopped it. Now I'm going to be adding that beauty to this mixture. Baby spinach is readily available in most supermarkets across the UK and in specialist grocers. So yeah, most definitely. Now, if in the absence of that, you can use your um, contumery, which is the kokoyam leaves, that you'd need to steam slightly for at least about four to seven minutes, but you ensure that you do chop it as well thinly for you to boil it for four to seven minutes and then add it to your mixture. So yeah, um, with the baby spinach, it doesn't even need to cook that much because the residual heat will cook that through. So at this point, I've turned the heat off, definitely. I need my onions crunchy and I need that baby spinach as well just to be so, you know, so, you know, the nutrients are in because as I said, the cowhide doesn't have much nutrient um content anyway so the fish and then the spinach and the okra are just going to compensate for it so it sort of kind of makes it like a, a nutritious one there doesn't it yeah it does so this okra soup of fatri dechi is definitely done absolutely with that indudu twist and look at that look at the tilapia the smoked mackerel look at the willy which is the cowhide or ponmo yes look at the spinach the okra this is just flavor that have the narrow chili with the fried prawns just so uh, this is like one dish you can enjoy with your eba your akula your banku your etil your kinke like what is it that you're looking for? I mean, I like to enjoy it on its own, especially when I've got the wele as well. I just sat down because I've not had wele for over five years, may I say? Yeah, because I hardly ever um, use it in most of my cooking anyway. So yeah, as of when this opportunity arises, I'm definitely going to grab it and enjoy it. Yeah, as I always say, this is not any other food. Oh, this is in Dudu by Papa. Now sitting. And do the mojo genawa, eh, quidala. Ah, Miva Miva do, Vaco a clave, a plano hojulu, Cumia bubonida chatta, Cumia dui, and I may come with a copel bun could be brat, no dog could be cry with a bit nice in the end. Oh, no, 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 I've just invited you to just come over and let's eat. Let's go and sit under a big tree somehow and enjoy this. Now, of course, I've been leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in dudubaifafa, so do pass by and say hi. Now, until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, and learn to respect yourself and equally give people the respect they deserve.